Okay, so my error here is, if I zoom in here, I don't have, I've lost my t in my square foot, so it thinks it's another variable. So if I just add my t in, that extra variable disappears. Let me just show you what's going on here. I'm going to make a, a watch box. So we can take a look at the variables that are coming out of here. Obviously, the target square footage is 2,500. The building width is whatever it's set for currently. And the square footage is whatever the square of a number is. So we know if it's 70, for instance, it would be 4,900 square feet, I believe. Oops. Let me just type in 70. Here we have 4,900 square feet. And then our target is that 4,900 divided by the, the amount of target square footage. And we come up with this idea of 5.1 um, levels. So obviously we don't want that. And um, so what we're going to do is we're going to use um, what's called a math floor. That's a way of, um, and I'll just show you how you can type it in, math.floor. And it's just a rounding function. And um, it will uh, return the smaller of the number of the integer that's put into it. So we'll plug the 5 in and we'll get out, or 5.1 and we'll get 5 out. We'll just bypass the, um, excuse me, the watch box. And I'll get that out of the way. Now the next thing we're going to do is figure out how many floors we want. And so I've already started to do this so I can show you and then type it. This is a series of numbers that we're creating. We're going from 0 to the number that's between these parentheses in increments of 15 units, which is the space between our floors. So what we're going to do is, um, and so we're dividing out this, um, uh, well, you'll, you'll see as we do the math with it. Let's just go ahead and now reconstruct this code lock. just typed here you know we're going to start at zero we're going to go two in a series we're going to go from x minus one because we already have the starting position of zero times 15 because that's the spacing we want our floors to move and i'm going to put this a parentheses around it and we want the series to go in increments of 15 feet Oops. And so now if I feed that integer number into here, we'll get an output of five floors, and each one of those floors is 15 feet apart. So let me just get rid of these um, extra definitions here for a minute. All right, so now we have that series, and we can go ahead and plug that in now. Instead of just moving 15 feet as the original number we put in, I'm going to put it in for the Z translation, and now we have one, two, three, four, five, our five floors. And we can test how this functions now by changing our building width. So as we go smaller with the width, we need more square footage, and it, we create more floors for ourselves. Let me just zoom out here. And then as we, um, as we increase the width of our building, we need less and less stories. And if I go to 100, obviously that's 10,000 square feet. Two stories is 20,000. And what we're doing is we've got that issue of the rounding because we don't have that. If you'll see that number is 2.5 uh, or the 25,000 square feet. But we round it to just two. So we don't act completely accurately hit that. But we can take that, cons that into consideration when we do our uh, generative analysis towards the end of this. So we'll... Um, Look next at the idea of uh, creating some, some subtext or some buildings around this and a few other features.